Chapter 3, Lesson 20, Saturn. Throughout this chapter on the planets, we will be using music, props, and more involved contemplations to access this subject matter. Saturn is the great life teacher of hard knocks. It forces you to face the areas of life that you are most fearful of. These are the areas of life that you will have your fiercest inner battles on your way to self-confidence through your own personal dark night of the soul experiences. Ultimately, Saturn builds faith and confidence in yourself as you overcome, one by one, these fears and roadblocks of life through disciplined, persistent action. In astrology, Saturn is a planet that represents restriction and limitations. Although it initially seems depressing to contemplate on the nature of Saturn, in reality, this planet will ultimately bring structure and depth of meaning to your life. Saturn reminds us of our boundaries and responsibilities as it brings definition to our lives in a very concrete and real fashion. Saturn gives the gift of hard-won successes, which in the end have far more value and more meaning. An example of this dynamic is the self-made person that gains wide admiration and respect for the incredible obstacles and hurdles that they have overcome in life. This is the planetary energy pattern that helps us to achieve our dreams through hard work and disciplined application of our somewhat insecure and fear-filled qualities of character. It forces us to confront our fears and move through them to a stronger, more stable world position. Saturn never promises success unless you confront your inner fears and follow the path of hard work and disciplined action. It is the path of ultimate, unshakable self-esteem. The Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, and Mars are considered personal planets in astrology. Their influences are right in your face, highly personal, and very close to home. When we reach the planet of Saturn, we start to see less of this personal emphasis. Now the energies become more collective. The reason for this is that it takes approximately 2.5 years for Saturn to travel through a zodiacal sign. Because of this, everyone born in that 2.5 year period of time will have the same Saturn energy dynamic and so will have a collective experience. Correspondences of Saturn. Saturn resonates to 147.85 Hertz. The properties of Saturn enhance our ability to be disciplined and to set boundaries for ourselves. It helps us to become more structured and to take responsibility for completing important tasks in our lives. It brings structure and order as well as commitment. The animals that correspond to Saturn are the mountain goat, the ass, and antelope. The angelic being that is associated with Saturn is Cassiel. The element of Saturn is Earth. The flowers, herbs, and other vegetation that correspond to Saturn are deadly nightshade, snowdrop, rue, violet, trilliums, yew, elm, cypress. Herbs that are cooling, constricting, drying, and stabilizing, as well as rejuvenating or herbs that hold, that affect aging. Shrubs, hard or woody plants and plants that like to grow in cold, dry locations like mountains or crevices are also of Saturn. The incense and perfume fragrances of Saturn are asafoetida, sulfur, thyme, and yew. The metal of Saturn is lead. The crystals and minerals that correspond to Saturn are obsidian, jet, diamond, black onyx, and Apache tear. The color associated with Saturn is gray. The day of the week associated with Saturn is Saturday. To help you understand and have a personal experience of the essence of Saturn, gather items from the above correspondence list in the space that you do your contemplations. This will help you access this energy. Read through the list and then collect as many of the items as you can. Pictures of some of the items will do, 
but you do need to have the perfume or incense smell of Saturn wafting in the air. It's very beneficial to have a Saturn type of crystal to hold while you contemplate, as is the lighting of a gray candle to be placed on the table that you have a gray cloth on and that you have collected all of your other Saturn correspondence items on. At this point, I would like you to hold your crystal, light the candle and incense, and gaze at the other Saturn items that you have been able to collect on the gray cloth. Then play the piece of music by Gustav Holst called Saturn from his Planet Suite. You may be able to access this music via YouTube. Listen to it while you use all of your senses to experience Saturn. Next, get ready to do your formal contemplation on Saturn while you listen to 147.85 Hertz music softly in the background. You may be able to access this tonal music via YouTube. Find a recording that is about 20 to 30 minutes long. Close your eyes and vividly visualize an image of the planet Saturn. Hold this image in your mind for a few minutes, then allow the image of old man Saturn or old man time to replace it. Then let your mind soften and flow for the next 20 minutes while this 147.85 Hertz music plays softly in the background and see what else comes into your mind. After you have completed the 20 minute contemplation, go about your day and think about all the qualities of Saturn. Come to understand how important Saturn is in helping us to overcome the fears and obstacles of our lives to achieve our greatest life's ambitions. Then go on with your day, allowing additional thoughts about the meaning of Saturn to filter through your consciousness. Saturn, part two. In this section, we will incorporate all that you have experienced of what Saturn is with the energies of the zodiacal signs. Whole books are written on this subject, but my point here is not to write a book that you just read and then forget about because you never access the reasons of how and why it is as it is. I want you to be able to understand the root of where all of this is coming from. This will put you into the position of being able to interpret the material for yourself. I want you to reach the higher state of mind that simply knows. In the beginning of each of the zodiacal sections, I will place a short key and symbol section. These are meant to give you a quick access to what each of the Saturnian positions through the zodiac means, through the intellectual and intuitive mind accessed through imagery. Saturn in Aries. Key. The impulsive urge to jump into things without looking first is held in check by a disciplined, rigid control. Symbol. A drill sergeant's urge to kick the ass of a recruit is tempered by a disciplined, rigid control. Saturn in Aries is cardinal fire. The Saturn in Aries person has an innate conflict between their tendency to act first, cardinal, and, the in and initiate action, fire, and their tendency to hold back and be controlled. These people feel a deep sense of frustration because they want to do things quickly and straight away. Yet they feel this dual requirement to slow down and look before they leap. This will often save them from making a lot of mistakes in life in the long run. The Saturn in Aries person tends to get bored when things don't happen quickly enough for them, but they eventually do become more balanced and slowed down by Saturn's influence on their natures. The lesson of this Saturn placement is that even though they are afraid of being assertive, direct, and courageous, they must learn to do exactly that. Saturn will draw the life circumstances to them that force them to apply these qualities of character, or get ground into the dust if they don't. How this usually manifests is that they are confronted with a situation that requires quick, courageous, assertive action or the chance is lost. They are forced to step up to the plate and act even though they are inwardly terrified to do so. Saturn forces us to confront our fears. 
Life experiences will force the Saturn in Aries person to learn valuable lessons related to strength of character, the correct use of willpower, resourcefulness, and personal initiative. They must learn to make their place in the world independently without much help from others. They must develop these qualities to enable them to overcome their fears and self-doubts as they learn to face the challenge of life with courage and self-confidence. After reading this short piece on Saturn in Aries, go into a contemplation on other qualities of Saturn in this position. Then spend the rest of the day considering and reflecting on this Saturn sign position and what it would be like for every sun sign position to be teamed up with an Aries Saturn. With an Aries Saturn. As an example, would it be easy for a Cancer sun sign to have this Saturn position? What would that energy combination be like? What about a Virgo sun sign with an Aries Saturn? Go through all of the sun sign positions in combination with the Aries Saturn and reflect what this would be like. Keep practicing the art of combining and interpreting these different energies. Now observe all the people in your world. Watch them and look for the Aries Saturn qualities. Can you see the person who is afraid to spontaneously go for it? Now consult a good ephemeris, that's a book of planetary motions, to find the times when Saturn is in Aries, which is roughly once every 29 and a half years. And look to see the similarities of the people born under Saturn in Aries. Astrology is very much an observing science and art form. Saturn in Taurus. Key. Disciplined acquisition of material resources results in vast accumulations of wealth. Symbol. A banker hoards a stash of gold bars. Saturn in Taurus is fixed earth. The Saturn in Taurus person has a strong resistance to change. Fixed. Especially when it entails a large outlay of wealth. Earth. These people are stubborn and possessive by nature but are at the same time trustworthy and loyal. They do not like change and may be miser miserly. They need a certain amount of material wealth. The amount of this will differ with each individual born with Saturn in Taurus. Some of these people may present themselves as non-materialistic, but this is never the case. Money and material resources are critical to their well-being as they fear the lack of them. Sometimes these people may feel that they do not deserve personal wealth for a multitude of different reasons and may work towards their own financial downfalls as a result. Or they may be over generous because they feel guilty over owning things or of appearing selfish to others because of their wealth. In the end, these people need to work to gain the necessary knowledge and expertise associated with the acquisition of wealth then learn to use those possessions and material resources in a balanced manner. Through patient self-discipline and great determination, they should work to get the professional qualifications and social status necessary to be a success in the modern world. Then the worry over wealth and security will be put to rest. After reading this short piece on Saturn in Taurus, Go into a contemplation on other qualities of Saturn in this position. Then spend the rest of the day considering and reflecting on this Saturn sign position and what it would be like for every sun sign position to be teamed up with a Saturn, a Taurus Saturn. As an example, would it be easy for a Leo sun sign to have a Saturn, this Saturn position? What would that energy combination be like? What about a Libra sun sign with a Taurus Saturn? Go through all of the sun sign positions in combination with the Taurus Saturn and reflect what this would be like. Keep practicing the art of combining and interpreting these different energies. Now observe all the people in your world. Watch them and look for the Taurus Saturn qualities. Can you see the person who is afraid of money? Now consult a good ephemeris. That's a book of planetary motions to find the times when Saturn is in Taurus, 
which is roughly once every 29 and a half years, and look to see the similarities of the people born under Saturn in Taurus. Astrology is a very much an observing science and art form. Saturn in Gemini. Key, the mind focuses with discipline on concrete facts. Symbol, a student struggles with dogged determination to understand his calculus assignment. Saturn in Gemini is mutable air. The Saturn in Gemini person works with disciplined intent, but sporadic, mutable, to structure their thinking, air. These people seek discipline and control over their communication, thinking, and reasoning capabilities. They work hard to structure their thinking along factual, pragmatic lines. They restrict the natural tendency of superficiality that is Gemini. They then end up being a person of great factual knowledge, but with little emotional depth. Even so, these people have good minds and prefer to work with the more useful aspects of learning and communications, such as mathematics, science, and understandings. The Saturn in Gemini person must learn that they have to gain knowledge and expertise via disciplined mental work habits. Life will force experiences that cause this person to develop a clear, practical, and logical mind. Also, the development of the technique of clear communications as speaking and writing will be of great importance to their development. After reading this short piece on Saturn in Gemini, go into contemplation on other qualities of Saturn in this position. Then spend the rest of the day considering and reflecting on this Saturn sign position and what it would be like for every sun sign position to be teamed up with a Gemini Saturn. As an example, would it be easy for a Virgo sun sign to have this Saturn position? What would that energy combination be like? What about a Libra sun sign with a Gemini Saturn? Go through all of the sun sign positions in combination with the Gemini Saturn and reflect what this would be like. Keep practicing the art of combining and interpreting these different energies. Now observe all the people in your world Watch them and look for the Gemini Saturn qualities. Can you see the person who is afraid of their own capacity for intellectual brilliance? Now consult a good ephemeris, a book of planetary motions, to find the times when Saturn is in Gemini, which is roughly once every 29 and a half years, and look to see the similarities of the people born under Saturn in Gemini. Astrology is very much an observing science and art form.